Hi! So this video is how to use flat.io for this assignment. I'm assigning this to all my orchestras, the one band class I teach, and Music Connections. So I might be talking about some stuff that doesn't apply to you or that you don't know. I'll try to explain it well enough so that everyone understands what to do. If you have any questions, just email me. That's totally fine. Don't stress about this assignment. It's meant to be fun and easy. Don't stress and get all upset if you don't understand how to do it perfectly or whatever. Just do your best and have a good time with it. Okay, so the idea is you are going to be making a little eight measure melody using flat.io and then you're going to send that to me and I'm going to put them all together and then I'm going to play them on an instrument. It might be the violin, it might be a different instrument depending on what you do. I'll figure that out when I get there. These are the requirements right here. Please make it eight measures long, and if you don't know what that means, I'll show you. In the key of D major, two sharps in the key signature, if you're in the orchestra. If you're in the band, let's do concert B-flat, so it depends on what you have for your instrument. Only have whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, or eighth notes. You don't have to use all those, but don't do anything faster than eighth notes. Okay, and then for instruments in the orchestra, don't do any shifting. If you're a beginner or in the concert orchestra or something, then just pick notes that are inside of the D major scale. So don't go crazy high or super low or anything. Okay, so do notes that you know how to play on your instrument. So notes that are in your range, and I'll play it on something. Okay, and then you'll upload it to Google Classroom. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we do this. So... You're going to go to flat.io, F-L-A-T dot I-O, flat.io, okay? And then you're going to sign up with Google, so make sure that you're signed into your, your Provo student account, and I'm going to choose my student account, okay, and here we go. You can call this whatever you want to call it, so this is my assignment for class, or whatever you want to call it, okay? And you're going to pick an instrument, so... Um, if you're in the Music Connections class, let's pick something from, um, so go down, go to Strings. Okay, if you're in the band, then pick your instrument from Woodwinds, which would be down here. I'm going to pick the violin. So if you're in the Music Connections class, maybe just pick violin. Okay, and then you add all the instruments you want. You're only going to do one. Press Create. Okay, and it'll give you a little tutorial. I encourage you to read that but you don't have to, I guess, if you don't want to. Okay, my assignment for class. So the very first thing I want you to do is make sure that you change the key signature. So if you don't know what that means, that is totally okay. But what you need to do first is you're going to go up to measure, and then right here where it says key signature, you're going to click this, and then you're going to pick the one that has the, the correct key signature for you. So if you're an orchestra, or the Music Connections class, just pick this one that has two sharps right here. If you're in the band, if you're a clarinet player, pick this one with no flats, no sharps. If you're a flute player, pick this one with two flats. If you're a saxophone player, pick this one with one sharp. Okay, I'm in an orchestra, we're doing violin, so I'm going to click this one. Now it changes it so it's in the right key. Now what you can do is you can pick notes, so you go over here to note, and you pick the note you want to use. I'm going to ask that you use whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes. So not these ones. So I'm going to pick quarter note, and we just put in our notes here. So music connections, people, let's not go lower than this one, than this D, and let's not go higher than this D. So just pick notes inside of here. Okay, and you can do eighth notes, or a half note or whole notes right there and you can just put whatever you want to do I'm just using my I'm just using my mouse and just placing it where I want it to be now when I mentioned earlier it needs to be eight measures long from here to here the where this line is that's one measure so there's one measure two measures this is measure three measure four five six seven so I need to add a little bit more and there we go now I have eight measures okay so there's my eight measures I'm done now I just need to turn it in. To turn this in, you're going to you're going to click this for a link, and what this means is anyone with the link can view it. Okay, so now that it's copied, now I'm going to go to my Google Classroom. I'm going to open up Google Classroom, and I'm going to go to the assignment. All you're going to do is you're just going to paste this into there. And after you've pasted that in, you turn it in, and that's it. It's easy. 
you could probably get this done in 10 minutes or less. Okay, this is due April 15th. Don't stress about it. Just get it done whenever you're able. And then uh, I'm going to take all of them and put them together. And then I'm going to make a video of me playing it all. It'll be awesome. Okay, thanks guys. Good luck. And I'll catch you on the flippity flip.